room and bring on uh, Catherine Castro of the Guam Chamber. Uh, good morning, Kathy. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. I tried to change the angle. And it's much better. There's good morning. Hi. Yeah, morning. but it's still going to look up. Look uh, at us. Oh, that's Simon. Uh, can we mute, Simon? Before it was pink down. Yes. Hi, hi, Kathy. Good morning. Hi. Good morning and hope to everybody. How are you? Good. We're doing great. So full disclosure, I ran into Kathy yesterday at the gas station and I was like, oh, hey, <laughs> come on. And I don't know if she knew I meant today, but <laughs> so thanks for joining us. But I had to laugh because you had said something like, I'm not, I don't bring the fire or whatever. And I was like, no, yeah. there's, no there's no more fire. It's peak or three. I feel like, you know, I mean, and let's just start there. Peak or three assessment with the, the chambers, the members and just other businesses. Uh, are you guys doing better now or? Well, you know, uh, just as Simon mentioned uh, a little while ago, businesses continue to struggle to survive. Uh, but, you know, uh, we're very pleased that the governor uh, signed uh, the minimum wage bill number 24 into law. So that will give some respite uh, to our small businesses who are in a dire need of any type of support from our government. So this would be extremely helpful. Um, and, and, and so we're, we're, we're thankful for the governor for signing that bill into law. We're thankful to the senators uh, for, uh, you know, putting a bill like that together. Uh, although, you know, we did, um, we were hopeful for a one year moratorium, but the six months is, is you know, it, at least it's something and uh, we'll, we'll take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bill Bill 11, though, is just uh, one of several other bills uh, that impact the business community that the chamber has been tracking. And the chamber also did a survey uh, in February. I'm not sure if the, the results mm -hmm. are, are, are uh, completed, but can you tell us a little bit about at least some of the feedback you've received so far and the response from the survey? Sabrina, we just sent the survey out over the oh. weekend then. So, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you're so good. Thank you for bringing it up. <laughs> you know, so anybody that's listening and that are members of the chamber, we really encourage everybody to uh, to complete that really quick. It's a really quick survey. But, you know, it's just to uh, let, let us know, you know, uh, what do you think about these bills? Do you agree that, you know, we should pursue these bills as a business community? There's about 10 bills that were listed. We asked uh, our members to rate the bills uh, of how important they are um, to the least important. We asked our members about what are the top issues that are important for their individual businesses. And, um, you know, so just that sort of thing. Uh, we want to get a, you know, just a pulse of our business community on, on what those issues are and what we should be doing as a chamber in the next uh, year or so. It's going to be a pretty crazy year leading up to the election. And um, we saw like the chamber uh, and you guys were part of a couple, I want to say a couple different packs or at least one big one. Uh, that being said, I'm kind of wondering like with this next election coming up, which is going to be a gubernatorial election, uh, how active are you guys going to be in the, the campaign conversation? Well, you know, you're right. The chamber uh, is part of Action Pack. It, it, the political action committee that was formed last year. And so um, uh, we're, uh, you know, Action Pack is still alive and well and is uh, 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 doing uh, what it does. And, and they're very similar, you know, where the chamber is a founding member. And so we have, um, we are actively engaged in advocacy with our legislative uh, folks. Um, and so at the Congress building, Guam Congress building. So as you can, you could probably uh, see the a number of business uh, bills that are coming out of the legislature, we feel are, are supportive of businesses. And uh, and that is because of the engagement and the, the talks that we've been having as a chamber, as, as individual organizations, GHRA, GAR, uh, Contractors Association, all of those uh, Chinese chamber and the Korean chamber, and, and then as a chamber. Uh, uh, and so we're, 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 we're pleased uh, that we're seeing uh, support for businesses. 
And, you know, really what it is, is we really have to work together. And just as Simon mentioned earlier, you know, um, we we're, the businesses, the smaller businesses are barely surviving. Yeah. And what we need to do is we just really, like we've said hundreds and hundreds of times, is we just really need to work together just to get through this. And, and you know, we'll see what this new, what is new and what is, what I mean, what is going to be normal for Guam moving into, uh, you know, uh, post-pandemic, right? Um, we're looking at a, a possible federal um, phased-in minimum wage. We, you know, we see that Congress uh, passed this $1.9 trillion uh, 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 stimulus package. We're waiting to see what the Senate's going to look like. You know, we're, we're seeing that they're, they're probably going to vote party lines. So, you know, it's, it's interesting times that we're living in. And we're just hopeful that cooler heads will prevail, especially on the minimum wage, because you can't put a one size fits all uh, 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 federal uh, mandate, you know, for for all, all of the United States of America. Not everybody is a New York or a California, right? So um, the places that can absorb that that can that, that can you know um, afford some of that uh, that high federal uh, minimum wage, you cannot do here on Guam or you know in uh, some downtown USA and maybe Ohio or, you know, some Midwestern state. What do we do? The What is it? What is it the proposal? Like $15 minimum wage or something? That's uh, Biden's. Biden's proposal. $15 minimum wage and we'll give a five cent increment over the next 80 years. <laughs> is that what? Well, you, know what you know what, Chris? Um, you know, I think it's really important that, you know, Dave Delasola was also on your show. Yeah. Right. And he has millions of dollars in grants. And, you know, folks, um, there's, we have to look at this as brand new opportunity for us, for our people, right? Let's take advantage of this. There, if you want to reskill, there's so much things out there. You could be a med tech. You could be a nurse's aide. I mean, there's so much things. You can go into construction. These guys pay really good money guys so you know let's 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 put our our um focus on you know moving ahead and what can we do to better our circumstances right and let's take that initiative if if there's federal dollars millions of dollars that is going to be available to our people let's do it let's let's educate ourselves let's reskill ourselves let's do this and make this place a better place for all of us well, we are coming up uh, to one year uh, since uh, the COVID landed on our shores. March March 15th, I believe, is the, the day uh, when we yeah. first got our first three cases. And so I guess for you, you know, what, looking back, I mean, uh, it's so hard to look back, right? And, and then that's why I think... <laughs> Cause that was I don't want to look back. I know, but you know, in terms of like lessons learned and, right, and, right. and things like that and reflecting um, mm -hmm. on what happened and what we can do better. That's is that mm -hmm. something that you guys are, are well, obviously is what you guys are doing. But I <laughs> you know, um, we, we, I've mentioned this too before. I said that, you know, once we shut down, we were already working on a plan to reopen our economy. Right. Um, I think that there, there, there is a lot that we can look back at and and um, and learn from, right? And and you're right; it has been extremely painful, um, and and the lives lost are just you know it's in, it's inconsolable to our hearts. And um, can, we 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 could have done some things better, um, but you know, taking a look at the whole like what even what Simon mentioned earlier, we were in this in a globally, we weren't just Guam, right? And so, um, uh, you know, taking a look at what the other countries are doing, what our counterparts, um, you know, what Hawaii is doing, um, you know, uh, certainly is something that we should take a look at. And, um, uh, but I, you know, you know, I appreciate that everybody here, you know, because we're so small, we care about each other. We want to see our people rise above. We want to see everybody safe, right? We want to be able to uh, to open uh, uh, safely 
and um, and and be successful at this and be, uh, you know, like what the governor is saying. You know, we're we're um, eyes are looking at Guam because we are are doing some things really really well, right? So, um, you know, I just I, let's just continue to do that. Let's continue to move forward. Let's continue to have a positive attitude because um, certainly, you know, that's the only thing that's going to uh, keep us. Uh, you know, keep us focused and, and, you know, that's, that's just, you know, that's how I live. And that's how, you know, I, my personal, uh, uh, you know, my mantra is, you know, just be positive, look forward and just work. Let's continue to do this together. Kathy, you know, so uh, with the parameters that are currently set, which is, I believe 50% for indoor dining, uh, 75% for retail, 50% for bars, uh, are are your your memberships or the body just in general looking um, at further easing? I mean, obviously you are, I know, but like, what timeline would satisfy you guys? And, yeah, you know, you've talked to Christine, right? Our our rock star chair, and uh, she, you know, we have been pushing for seventy five percent at our restaurants. Mm -hmm. We have been pushing to have our bars open. You know, I believe and I feel strongly that. We have really good guidelines in place, and I'm pretty sure that your next your next folks uh, uh, that are behind me with Janella and Mary Lou, you know they'll you know they'll tell you that the business community they've been working public health and the business community have been working hard to put guidelines together, safety guidelines that are that are in place for employees and for for uh, 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 customers, right? And I think that the sooner that we can do this, the better we can be as a, as an economy, right? So that we can turn that money around so that we can get people employed and paid. Um, I think that's, that's really, really important. We got to get our people off of the, you know, uh, 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 asking or, or, or waiting in lines. Goodness gracious, you know, let's, let's get our people employed and, and, you know, uh, and, and do this the right way. So we, I, so to answer your question, we are we're, we're really pushing for um, more opportunities and more capacity to open. Certainly, All right? Yeah, I think once it gets up like fifty percent, seventy five, I don't really see the difference. I mean, when you when you go around, I mean, I don't even know if anyone's counting. I'm not sure. Uh, we already know public health is understaffed, but uh, yeah, it just kind of seems like seventy five percent of retail. Like, why not just go to one hundred? Yeah. Because yeah. with, with the know, with the social distancing, it kind of messes with the capacity load, right? Because you've got to have everyone six feet apart. You, you know, um, I I went to a, a, a brunch after after mass yesterday, and um, those guys were really really awesome, taking temperatures, making sure we're socially distanced, making sure that we were masked. Uh, I went to the grocery store, and you know we're doing it ourselves, right? Mm. I don't know if you notice when you go to the grocery store, you know, you know, we say hello to each other, but we, we're six feet apart because you know we're doing our part as a community, right? To uh, to to to, to uh, move beyond this. So you know, kudos to to our community, to our to our people, right? Uh, right on. Is the chamber um, also eyeing the president's Americans uh, Res Rescue Act? Uh, aside from the 661 million that you know we're hopefully crossing our fingers that that we're going to get the governor's going to get and, and divvy it out but aside from that 661 uh, million is there anything else uh, in there uh, that the chamber can um, uh, take advantage of well I think that um, we're, we're, we're really excited to see uh, help for the business, various industries that need the help, right? Where we wanted, we you know, we wanted to see these uh, uh, grants come through for our restaurants and our bars much earlier than they are coming through now. Uh, we wanted to see uh, grants coming through for our um, daycare centers and you know just the the the, the businesses that, that were truly impacted, right? Uh, uh, by uh, th this uh, pandemic. And so um, we continue to, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
work with with our with our congressmen and work with uh, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and see how they're what they're doing uh, to support all of these small businesses, all of these industries that were the most hard hit. And uh, we will continue. We will continue to uh, to do that in whatever way that we can. If if it's you know uh, uh, webinars, if it's uh, opportunities for grants, um, e- even the arts, you know. Um, uh, entertainment, you know, a uh, theater, uh, ballet. I mean, all of these things that were so hard hit. Uh, we we really want these folks to be able to come back and uh, and uh, you know uh, be supportive again. Be be the community. We need to be a community again. And and to and our sports, you know, all of that stuff, right? So we're looking out for all of that. Do you guys have a uh, I guess account or just a, an idea? Uh, how many businesses, small businesses uh, with the Chamber of Commerce uh, did it make it through this pandemic? Like permanently closed? Yeah, you know, um, I don't know what that number is. Um, I know that the, uh, uh, the Department of Revenue and Taxation did have a number about businesses that did not renew their business license. Um, we did lose, you know, I, I'm going to be frank, we did lose um, uh uh, just under 40 members uh, in, in 2020. Um, and a lot of that was all small businesses. Um, I would say half of that was closure and and the other half was they're just trying to make it. And we totally understand and totally support them. And, um, uh, and so we, you know, what the chamber does is, you know, we, we advocate for the entire business community, whether they're members or not. So we're, um, you know, we we will tirelessly uh, continue to advocate and press on for our business community. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. I'll say, Thanks, guys. You you guys have a seminar tomorrow. Did you want to uh, promote? It's that? on Wednesday. Oh, it's, it's our uh, yes. It's with Joe Arnett, and so we're yeah encouraging. We already have uh, close to 150. Uh, 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 folks uh, uh, participating and signed up. But man, you know, if there's other small businesses out there that need some guidance uh, on taxes, you know, let's get you guys registered. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call here at the chamber. We'd be happy to help you out. Right. It's free. There you go. You sure you don't want to throw a little fire out here, Kathy, before I let you go? Last chance. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you. Thank Kathy. you. There Take you care. All right. Uh, 842. Uh, good morning. This is the link. Uh, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Burp, burp. East West Rental. Uh, also brought to you by ITE Carrier at <laughs> 647 Cool and Cabo Enterprises. 843. Let's go back into the Zoom room where we have uh, Janela Carrera, uh, Public Health, the PIO, and I believe she's joined by Depart- De- Department.